Hi guys, this is Rob from Icebox Auto here today. I'm just going to show you today's lovely install, which is on a Range Rover Sport. Now, it fits the 2005 to 9 model, if I'm not wrong. Uh, and what you get uh, for your money is this large Tesla style screen, which is obviously, I think it's about a 13.3 inch screen. Uh, also, this frame here comes with it too. So, all this is joined this part here, this part, and obviously this is all the original part of the dash here. So all your um, original entertainment comes out here and obviously this replaces it. Um, now, just to show you, yeah, let me just turn the heaters down one second. Uh, one second guys, there you go, turn them off. Uh, so as you can, what you can see here is the, um, the Android Auto in action so obviously this uh, has got built-in wireless Android Auto if you're a Android phone user uh, alternatively it does turn into CarPlay if you have the Apple product um, and this is what you see here is as you can see a lot of the older systems just um, only used to do half screen on the maps um, and we do a lot of questions about basically does it show full screen in the Android Auto because some people are quite familiar with it only showing half screen as you can see full screen here uh, if I just do this part here it brings up your um, navigation menu for the Android Auto so as you can see it's brought over your Google Maps your phone your Spotify your WhatsApp all that type of stuff so it can do um, anything from your phone in terms of music apps uh, text messaging apps and uh, navigation apps and podcasts and stuff like that um, so obviously you do have your Google Assist with this which is good so obviously you can speak to it when you're driving um, as apply to Siri support if you're a Apple phone user, iPhone should I say um, uh, just so yeah just to give you a indication on that one there so as you can see it's not much many apps on there anyway so uh, I'll just go back on to the Android interface just clicking on the exit here here's your home page um, you can customize these if you want by downloading different skin apps if you want like a gamma and carlo and just so if you don't like this, the original setup there are apps you can just download from the play store direct onto the system uh, just to show you where the play store icon there is that there is the google play store so obviously it does need an internet connection and um, we haven't signed into it because obviously it's the customer's car will do all that for him when he does turn back up to collect the car um so yeah so basically um there's there's any apps of choice you can put netflix youtube all that type of stuff on there even though you can put your uh, IPTV on if you're, if you're one of them people who, who tends to watch the um, IPTV here at home. So um, I'll just go uh, show you the navigation bar along the top. Uh, apps just takes you into your app center, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, Navi. So if I press that, obviously, with it being just a new unit, you do have to set up which map you want on there. But you can put any map of choice in there. So if you download Waze or Copilot, TomTom, Tom, whatever from the Play Store, it'll show up in this center here. And if I was just want to set a sign, let show you that Google Maps, you can assign whatever map you want of choice there. And then it'll just bring it onto here. So I just do that, and your Google Maps start back up there. Okay. So here's your radio interface here. It does work with your steering wheel controls, as you can see them in the background. Steering wheel controls where you can find on the skip and uh, volume buttons on the, this radio interface. Uh, you can see it does have a um, RDS, so obviously it does show you the radio station name and alternative there. There's the person who's obviously maybe the song that's or the DJ's playing on at the time being. Um, let's go back onto here, music and video. Uh, I don't know whether it's got a demonstration on here, there's your, there's your video there. So that's just a demo that the, the factory's put on there just to, to let you know when you're testing it and stuff like that. Um, just to make sure it works. But you can put all your movies and all your albums, if you're old-fashioned, onto a USB pen. Uh, the system comes with two cables for USB. Um, you can put one in there and use another one for like a DVR camera or TPMS, tab radio sort of things. So you can do that too. There's your Bluetooth interface. Um, so obviously it does have phone box support, um, I haven't uploaded it because obviously it's just testing purposes um, and it gives you, you can stream your music from your phone too um, and that's your Bluetooth interface. So going into the application centre here, uh, this is where all your apps will go into, so obviously any apps in there. This app store I, I think personally is just maybe for the different region, maybe for the China factories, maybe the China regions over there, but your Play Store app is here. Uh, AUX, so obviously it comes with AUX um, inputs, so you can put uh, Digi TV boxes to it if you want to do that. Bluetooth I just showed you, calculator tends to always be on an Android interface there, whether you use that or not. This one here is your Android Auto CarPlay one, which I just showed you earlier. Um, and let's go back out to there, one second. 
um, apps, uh, car bit link, I think that's your mirror link there too, but obviously it's not that great, we never really push the mirror link onto people because the systems do everything that your phone do and more. Chrome, um, browser, if you want to do a bit of internet shopping, this here is your steering wheel control setup menu, uh, it's got a built in DSP sound processor in there so obviously you can customise the output on the one second, as you can see, on that one there too. Uh, farm manager so obviously if you want to put any applications on there that are not on the play store uh, you, you get them from a third party site and you, you trust it you can put APKs onto this side of things by doing it through there uh, bringing it down to gallery which again is like calculator just put on there by the Android series Google browser another one there is your Google Maps your music player uh, MC UK not familiar with that guy so obviously that looks let me have a little look at that one uh, looks like something to do with your steering wheel controls, but I'll say we're not going to look into that further. There's your radio interface, touch assist. So sometimes you get like an annoying, annoying button here, which is a bit annoying, but we always switch it off. It's a bit of a pain in the bum, that one. Vehicle settings. Okay, so this is obviously custom, um, um, relatable to the car's original settings here. So it's like 4x4 settings and stuff like that. Um, I'll just show you that one there, as you can see on there. Show you the 4x4 settings and the vehicle settings, and just a few little relatable to here. So, you can see if we can change that. Sometimes you can't change them on these systems to, to the MPH, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. Um, because I say they're predominantly made for, for uh, mass market, which is the European, with us being a little tight country on the side and right hand drive and miles per hour. Uh, but don't just be, be mindful that you can still do your miles per hour on the MFD display behind the dash, so don't worry about that, guys. Uh, just showing you a little bit of information down here. I think that's pretty much it on there. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it, guys. So I'll just bring the, end of the video to an end, and I hope you liked the video. Uh, we'll put the link down to the description down below. Here are all our contact details, too, and we hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.